All right, this is another video to Russ Miller. Um, this video is in part in response to a video he made on his Creation Ministries website called uh, The Big Bang Debunked Final, or something like that. I don't recall the exact title. Link will be down below. You can watch it yourself. It's only like two minutes long. Um, I watched this video yesterday, and it's the same material that I covered in my long series to Russ Miller. Uh, it was all exactly the same material. The video series that he didn't watch, and he let me know he didn't watch. Um, uh, because he, well, he, he gave me a number of reasons, some of which are my, uh, he doesn't like how I speak. Um, he doesn't like my abysmal level of ignorance on every subject. He doesn't like my profanity. Uh, in essence, I'm a complete waste of his time. He's let me know that I'm, I, all I do is waste his time and that he will listen to me if I summarize my points briefly, whatever. But, you know, like I'm going to do him a favor, right? Um, that's not the point of this video. So I commented on on his on his little short version of the video on the Big Bang uh, because well I figured it was worth commenting on and the, I'm not going to get into everything I stated and everything he responded to but I, I want to go the the first point I want to make uh, the the central point that I made uh, is the fact that Russ Miller attempted to prove the Big Bang theory wrong by citing a 2004 letter uh, from the pop science art journal New Scientist, um, which is called Bucking the Big Bang. This was a letter, an open letter, you know, a, a petition for scientists who have doubts about some aspects of the Big Bang Theory, don't believe in the Big Bang Theory, don't accept the Big Bang Theory, um, or believe the Big Bang Theory should be questioned, which that's a lot of these people, a lot of people that sign these petitions go into for that aspect of it. Um, you know, everything in science should be questioned. So if you ask me anything, I'd say, sure, it should be questioned. It doesn't mean I don't support it. It's just, it should be questioned. But that's, that's, that's an aside. Um, the, the, the point of this is, is that Russ Miller was using the, the signatories on this as proof that scientists are abandoning the Big Bang Theory, that it's turned out to be bankrupt, full of holes, meaningless, pointless, that it's being, you know, dropped in, in, by scientific acceptance and that, that it's only being held on to by you know evil evolutionist educators who are just merely trying to shove it down their children's throats or your children's throats and that outside of that it has no real support now there's a couple of things about that that I find amusing one being that this letter um, is well it had 30 signatories on it um, of legitimate major you know at the, when it when it was first released uh, the signatories were people who actually work PhDs in cosmology who uh, are researching the origins of the universe, uh, 30 of them. Now, that's a good number. It's not, I'm not knocking the number, and I'm not, not knocking those people's accomplishments in science. Um, but, like, one of the professional societies that I was able to track down um, who also, you know, professional societies dedicated to the origins and evolution of the cosmos... Um, had over 7,000 members in one of the professional societies. So seven, at least 7,000 people in the field, 30 signed a letter, isn't really a good percentage. It doesn't You can't really use that as evidence that there's this mass emigration from um, uh, the acceptance of the Big Bang Theory in science. That's, that's one point. Uh, but the central thing that I wanted to get to is that Russ was using this, essentially using this to support his idea, which is that the universe is 6,000 years old, um, you know, that it was uh, breathed into existence by the word of God and everything like that. And his claim was, look at, look at all these scientists who support my claim. Um, you know, here's this letter with all these quotes about the doubting of, of the Big Bang. Therefore, look at, scientists are now supporting my viewpoint. And I, I, the comment I made to him was in regards to that, because... I look at it like, uh, forgive how my mind works here, it's kind of, I, sometimes I, I make really weird leaps, and so um, things that are funny or things that make sense to me oftentimes get puzzled looks from, from other people, and it's my fault. Um, but when I heard that from Russ, all I could think of is that's kind of like the Bob Marley defense. Well, what the hell's the Bob Marley defense? Well, I actually, there's a video by Seth MacFarlane, family guy guy um, 
he made a little short video. I'll put a link down below if I can find it. I haven't seen it for a while, but I'll, I'll link it. Um, I'll search for it. And in this video, he has, it's called, like, Why Bob Marley uh, Shouldn't Be His Own Lawyer or something like that. And in essence, it's Bob Marley sitting in a uh, uh, interrogation by, detect being interrogated by, by detectives, homicide detectives. And the detectives are trying to get him to, you know, they're trying to clarify the point he's making, which is that... He is cleared of the crime of shooting the deputy because his alibi is he was shooting the sheriff, so therefore he couldn't have shot the deputy. Um, so he, he's innocent of murder because he was committing an even worse or bigger scale murder at that time, so therefore you know, that's his defense, um, which I think is hilarious. It's, it's kind of funny too. But, what Russ is doing, now this, let me explain why I think that this was what Russ is doing. Russ is using the Bob Marley defense. So Russ believes that the universe, 6,000 year old, wished into existence. And in order to support that, because he has no actual empirical evidence for that, all he can do is chip away at other theories, theories that suggest the Earth may be older than that. And one of those being the Big Bang Theory. So he wants to attack the Big Bang Theory, the, the theory that's got thousands and thousands of research cosmologists, people who study it, people who look for evidence that's got um, abundant evidences in its favor and practically no evidences against it and all of this stuff. He has to attack that in order to prove the 6,000-year-old Earth. So, he looks for any anything that makes this Big Bang Theory seem like it's in doubt, seem like it's being questioned. And what can he find? Well, look at this. Here's this... Here's this uh, uh, bucking the Big Bang letter. Well, look at here's a bunch of scientists that don't believe in the Big Bang. So look, they support me. That's what he, that's what he's trying to say. When I looked up, I decided just for fun to go to uh, their because they have their links to their on the on the Big Bang bucking the Big Bang page. They actually have um, their research links to these scientists that signed this paper. So you can actually look at what their you know what papers they published what their current research focuses in, their graduate student work, and all of this kind of stuff so on, on a lot of these pages. And it turns out that they're all um, steady-state theorists, right? Okay. They believe that the universe has to be not billions, but infinitely old. Um, essentially, trillions upon trillions upon trillions of years old. And that Big Bang theorists are wrong because Big Bang theorists are trying to explain this gigantic complex cosmos without enough time to do it, right? Um, so they kind of look on Big Bang theorists like, uh, well, we look on young Earth creationists, kind of like this, you know, you know, you can't explain, there's not enough time to explain all of this phenomena. We can explain this phenomena better. Um, m most scientists don't agree with that. Um, they, they think that the Big Bang Theory or believe, accept that the Big Bang Theory explains this evidence better than I, um, anyway, sorry, I'm getting, getting, I was trying to make this short and I'm failing. Um, so Russ is trying to make the claim that the 6,000 year old Earth theory is proven correct because people who believe in an infinitely older universe don't believe in a 13.75 billion year old universe. Um, so in, in essence, um, he he uh, he couldn't have shot the deputy because he was killing the sheriff at the time. Um, is that's the way I see Russ's thing there, and I think that Russ doesn't even know that that's what he's doing. Um, Russ probably never bothered to actually look into the beliefs, um, the what scientific models do these Big Bang doubters. What do they accept? What theories do they adhere to? Are they all young Earth creationists, Bible believing Christians, or? Um, do they believe in something that's even farther away from the Big Bang than the Young Earth creation point? Because in reality, um, I would think it would be logical that Young Earth creationists would accept the Big Bang theory. They may not accept the timeline, right? They may look at it and go, well, you know, look, you know, scientists have proven that the universe had an origin. Um, they say it's billions of years ago. We say it's 6,000 years ago. But look, still... They say it has an origin. The people who signed that paper believe the universe never had an origin, that it has always existed, that it's 
infinite in size and yet growing with new matter being added, new matter being constantly created at its center. That's what these people believe, which is not even remotely relatable to the, the, the stories of that you guys try to hold up as truth from the Bible. Sorry, I, I got way wordy on this. I will uh, end it now. So take care.